Assassin's Creed Origins introduced us to a new modern day protagonist, Layla Hassan, Egyptian American former employee of Abstergo. In Assassin's Creed Origins, we see Layla Hassan trying to prove herself to Abstergo by kind of going off of company protocol. She does this due to the lack of respect she seems to be receiving from her fellow Abstergo colleagues. Instead of respecting Layla breaking their protocol, Abstergo, surprise surprise, aren't best pleased and send a tactical unit to eliminate her. Due to the skills acquired through the bleeding effect, Layla was able to kill every member of this tactical unit, saving her life. It's safe to say that at this point, Layla's career at Abstergo is more or less over. Not too long after this, after exploring Bayek's memories further, Layla leaves the Animus to find William Miles waiting for her. Those I don't need to be your to last you. words. Who the fuck are you? Ugh! Does the name William Miles ring a bell? Assassin? Then you know who I am. We, the Assassins, have been watching you. It's unusual for an Abstergo employee to take an interest in a country's revolution. You're not wrong there. We know about your work with the Animus. Astounding what you and Deanna were up to. D. They played you, didn't they? Sophia Ricken made you so many promises. Enough! We're not talking about her. Sure. Plenty of other subjects to cover on our ride to Alexandria. Don't assume I'm going anywhere with you. Well, let's look at your options. You can come with me, or you can stay here and do the dance of death again and again until you make a mistake. They only need you to make one. There's no going back to your old life, Layla. I never planned to. But you'd finally be able to work on the Animus project. Our version of it. And with us, you'd always have the freedom to do things your way. Fine. Let's do this. That doesn't mean I'm on your side. Good enough. Besides from more inanimous events, this is basically it for this game. What's next for Layla Hassan? What happens afterwards? What will we see happen potentially in the next Assassin's Creed game? Obviously, at the time of recording, the DLCs for Assassin's Creed Origins aren't yet out so something may very well happen in those however i do doubt that because modern day presence in dlcs is basically unheard of in assassin's creed besides from hearing voices so i wouldn't count on having any of layla's story continued in origins dlcs as opposed to a all-out sequel so let's get into this. So obviously, William Miles offered Layla a place on the Assassin's version of the Animus project. The promise of letting Layla do things her way basically convinced her to go with William Miles to see what it's all about. And at the end of Assassin's Creed Origins, William and Layla are waiting in the cave for a helicopter to Alexandria, which would arrive in about an hour. However, as of the ending of Assassin's Creed Origins, Layla still isn't 100% sure about the Assassins and hasn't yet joined them as she stated herself, so she's not an Assassin yet, if she's going in that direction. Considering how Ubisoft, ever since Desmond kicked the bucket, have been trying to keep the modern day in line with the real world modern day, I'd assume that the next Assassin's Creed game will probably pick up a couple of years down the line, so we might wind up seeing where Layla winds up at, but not seeing how she got there. Or Ubisoft might do a classic Ubisoft and just forget she exists and pick up with somebody else. Something that would royally piss me off. Whether or not we see Layla again in Assassin's Creed, I'm very doubtful that we'll see her right off the bat from where we finish off in Assassin's Creed Origins. So what will likely happen right after the events of Assassin's Creed Origins as far as the modern day is concerned? Well, obviously Layla and William Miles will go to Alexandria, where they'll probably meet up with other Assassins 
Probably in some assassin hideout they have in Alexandria. I'd imagine slowly Layla will be convinced that the assassin cause is the right one for her and wind up joining the Assassin Brotherhood at some point or another and will probably wind up working on the Animus project as William promised. Also, as William suggested, Layla will probably develop a working relationship with Rebecca Crane as William states that he thinks that Layla and Rebecca would get on quite well. I think it would be rather funny if they didn't get on at all, for the sake of irony. Obviously, regardless, Layla and Rebecca will wind up being well acquainted as they'll both be working on the Animus. Regardless, I'm pretty sure that Layla will wind up with the Assassins in the end, but by the time we get back to seeing her again, if she comes back in the next Assassin's Creed game, it's more than likely that this would have already happened, they'd probably been explored in a comic book here and there, but I reckon come the next game, Layla will either be irrelevant completely or quite a bit further on down her story. Obviously I hope that's not the case and we get to see Layla's story continue from right where it left off and we see her join the assassins and develop into the character she needs to be. But if the next Assassin's Creed game, major title, is to be in 2019, I'd imagine they'll want to put the modern day setting in the year 2019. Which, unless there's a comic explaining it, would cut out quite a lot of Layla's story. Now, I'd imagine this is the route that they'll probably take, which would be annoying, especially since I don't read comics, or read at all. But luckily, what probably happens right after the events of Origins is incredibly predictable, as I have just predicted it really easily. So that's what I think is next for Layla Hassan. She's going to join the Assassins, she'll work on the Animus Project, and considering the skills she's picked up through the Bleeding Effect, she will probably wind up being an operative of sorts as well. Although nothing would suggest that last bit, besides from the fact that she has abilities, as she has demonstrated, when she used the skills she'd acquired through the Bleeding Effect to take out an entire task force of Abstergo agents. Beyond that, what's next for Layla? <laughs> Probably dead. Who knows? We can't predict that far. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this logical little discussion, figuring out what's going on sort of thing and where things will probably go from here. Obviously, as much as I don't think I am wrong, I could very well be wrong. Please do bear in mind that the DLCs weren't out at the time of this recording, so whatever might happen in those modern day wise, although very doubtful, is not considered because it's not known to the public yet. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like on this video, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.